This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. The FDA's recent approval of a new prescription weight loss pill offers yet another option for more than one third of American adults who are affected by obesity. Called Contrave, the new drug is the third prescription weight loss drug to be approved by the FDA since 2012. And today we have Dr. Justin Puckett from Complete Family Medicine and a board certified weight loss physician to break it all down for us and answer some of our questions. How are you doing today? Doing well, thank you. So first of all, tell us more about Contra Contrave and who's eligible to take it. Well, Contrave is, all of the weight loss pills mm -hmm. um, are being approved by the FDA for anyone with a BMI, a body mass index, uh, which can be calculated. You can just Google it and, and calculate your based upon your height and your weight uh, with a BMI of greater than 30. If you have a BMI of greater than 27, which puts you in the overweight category instead of the obese category, if you've got any metabolic comorbid conditions like high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, then those people would qualify for the medication uh, as an on-label indication also. Interesting. So how does this whole drug work? Well, it's actually a combination of two medicines that we've known about for a long time. So mm -hmm. there's nothing super new here. It's just the combination of the two. The first one being Wellbutrin um, or Bupropion, and then the second one being Naltrexone. And Wellbutrin or Bupropion is an uh, antidepressant pill that we know of mostly for increasing dopamine, and so it gives us that feeling of satisfaction. Um, and we've known for a long time that it has anti-addiction uh, properties. At, it was, in, it was uh, actually indicated for smoking cessation several years ago. Hmm. And then they added naltrexone, uh, which also has anti-addiction properties. Um, the way it works is it binds in our brain uh, at the opioid receptors uh, to help decrease cravings. And how these two medications exactly work together to uh, instill weight loss really, though, is, is kind of unknown. Mm -hmm. And there's something interesting about it. It's going to be equipped with a black box warning on it. Why, what's that about? Why? Anytime a medication has something that, um, it, that stands out, mm -hmm. that, that, all, that, really, uh, that all consumers need to be aware of, uh, they put this black box warning on it. And actually, the reason why this medicine has a black box warning is because of the Wellbutrin that's in it, and all antidepressants have an indication, uh, a, a, a black box warning for suicidality. And the reason being is that if you take a, if you're feeling down and you take a medicine, and it it often gives you more energy and, and motivation before it does happiness, and so sometimes uh, that's been correlated with people making poor choices. Um, so it does have that black box warning, but it's no different than any of the other antidepressant pills on the market. All right. Well, and with that being said, obviously take caution when when taking and and being on this drug. But is there anybody that shouldn't take it at all? Yeah, there, if you are pregnant or trying to get pregnant, okay. not the right drug for you. If you have a history of uh, seizure disorders, um, probably not. And then people who are taking chronic pain medication, um, opiates, uh, uh, then this medicine, because of the way that the naltrexone works in the brain, not the right medicine for them. All right. Now, kind of, I know that people are like, oh, it's a weight loss drug. I don't have to do anything else, so I'm just going to take it and I lose weight. But that's not the case. You do have to combine it with diet and exercise, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. If we want to have any success, it, it, this is an adjunct to help you with diet and exercise because, like we've talked about before, it all boils down to diet and exercise. Um, it's just a matter of making the metabolic machine uh, be more inducing to weight loss. And one of the ways that we do that is by decreasing the amount of food that we input, um, and this medic medication can help with that. And uh, on average, uh, how much weight can somebody expect to lose on this, this drug? It was studied in, a, in over 5,000 people in, in a couple different trials um, and followed out for over a year. And the weight loss was around 5 to 10%. Um, it was about five to ten percent over placebo. Uh, both groups in the in the trials got the like the behavioral the the diet and exercise portion, and the people who got that plus the contrave gained an additional five to ten percent of weight loss. So, in somebody who weighs uh, you know two hundred pounds, they're talking about a drop down to one eighty or so. Okay. All right. Now let's talk more about a weight loss consultation. What is that all about? Well, if someone uh, is is you know seeing somebody uh, for weight loss, then mm -hmm. it, we do a variety of things that, that are a little bit unique um, to maybe the regular primary care office. Um, we, we not only do all of the metabolic, make sure that what I call them, getting the machine ready to lose weight, mm -hmm. um, but then we do a very detailed weight loss history, uh, weight gain history, um, what are some of the issues that you've had, and then we bring a full multidisciplinary team together. So in, in our, at the Center for Medical Weight Loss where I work, we have counselors, we have health coaches, we have dietitians, we have a personal trainer, 
and then obviously physicians and nurses. And so we bring all that together mm -hmm. um, to support somebody on their weight loss journey. Yeah. So, which is nice because then it's not like one person coming in saying, I want to lose weight. What are my options? And you're like, oh, okay, here you go, and we're done. You actually do an extensive research and background information as well to get that person on the right track to exactly. losing weight. Every, every, every medication, every uh, mechanism of weight loss is individualized, and, and, and also having close follow-up is a very important part of the process also. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for all this information. What we'll do is we'll post everything on our website at heartlandconnection.com, and we'll also link up Dr. Puckett's information with Complete Family Medicine if you have any questions. Thanks again for coming on. Thank you. And we'll be right back.